Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you five tips for managing layers in Abyss Paint X. And this was a requested video, so I hope that it helps you out. Tip number one is checking the opacity on your layers. Sometimes when you have loads of layers, the opacity can get confusing and you can often go onto a layer and click the wrong opacity and it is honestly just a horrible experience having one layer a different opacity to what you wanted the other one to be. So sometimes it's good to just go through all of them and make sure they all have the right opacity that you want. The second tip is only make important layers. Sometimes you'll find if there's just one stroke of line art there's no need to make a layer for it and it would be better on a different layer so your device doesn't get overcrowded. Though you can have smaller layers, I strongly advise against it unless it's for something like doing special effects. Tip number three is merging layers. Sometimes when you have loads of layers, it'll be easier just to merge them. For example, if you had loads of different layers for line art and you finish your line art, it would be so much easier to merge them together by doing this. And then they'd all be in one layer and it would crowd your device a lot less. I find with older devices, for example my tablet is pretty old, it crowds up very very easily with too many layers and it can make your drawing go slower and the brush lag and you don't want that. The fourth tip is naming layers. Now if you have loads of layers and you can't merge down all of them, it's always a good idea to name some. For example, you can go right here, click rename layer. And if this is the line art one, you could just name it line art. Or if it was the line art for a certain part, then you could name it for that certain part. Like this. And it would be a lot easier because then you can just see it right there and tell. Of course, you can name it whatever you want, but I think it's just a really, really super easy thing to do. Tip number five is duplicate. Sometimes if you have layers that you want to do special effects on or if you're not sure if you're going to need this layer again You can just go right here and duplicate the layer. It'll make the exact same layer. So for example, I'll just do a little swirl here and if we went here and duplicated it, it would be exactly the same So it's nice to keep one back in case you're going to need it This is also super helpful for doing patterns and backgrounds as you can just duplicate the thing that you drew an extra tip here, which I didn't initially write down that I think is still useful, is make sure you don't move the layers about. If you hold by here on the picture, then your layer will move. And while that is helpful in its own right, you don't want to be doing that accidentally because then it will just mess the order up completely. So when you're scrolling down, make sure that you're always grabbing on this side near the text that says normal 100%. That was five tips on managing layers. I hope that it helped you out the person who requested it and I hope that other people can find it helpful too. I tried my best. I don't usually do these sorts of listed videos and I don't usually write down some form of script so I hope that it worked well. Thank you very much for watching and stay safe.